Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this one, we're going to be reacting to the Haunting of Bly Manor, episode five, called "The Altar of the Dead." Um, recap. Uh, in the last one, we see who the mysterious figure is that Danny keeps seeing, um, and it was her fiance, <coughs> Edmund. They were childhood sweethearts, and they had a a bit of an argument which led him to get out of the car and get, he got hit by a by a truck basically mm. and he died there and then um and the the lights in his sorry the light in his glasses is actually headlights mm. so we kind of well we kind of were right on that one um and he's just gonna stay with her basically it doesn't look like she's gonna get rid of that 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 fit that image at all um, but we kind of see how she, or why she came to the UK, why, how the decline happened, um, which was pretty messed up. Um, like I said, there were childhood sweethearts and they were quite young. She still is quite young. Um, meanwhile, in the present day, Owen's mum's funeral took place um, and they all kind of gather around. Owen comes back to the to the mansion and they all kind of gathered around at night around a, a bonfire we learned something new because we didn't realize it was called the bone fire before which was quite interesting um but the the real kind of kicker was the flora realizes that one of her dolls is not in the bed and she's moved towards the staircase so her and miles go downstairs because they know danny's downstairs and they're talking to her and we see what we assume is the lady of the it lake. wasn't that it wasn't there it's that she saw the lady of the lake in the house that's what it was yes sorry yeah lady of danny, the lake was yeah. there and danny was there and she so yeah. she freaked out yeah so that adds a whole complexity of questions because it's like is the house alive is, or is that why she puts the lady of the lake under the under the thingy so she's supposed to be in the lake Oh, under the wardrobe. Yeah. Do you think that's what it is? She's supposed to be there. That's the lake. She's supposed to be. It could. It would make know. sense because it is further away from the actual dollhouse. Yeah. And it's flat down underneath. So at the bottom of the lake. That's a, that's a good one. Maybe. That's an interesting one. Yeah, I did think of that. Well, that's my mind blown. But yeah, yeah, I think, I think, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's, that's actually a really good question. Right? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. I interrupted, we, I mean, interrupted we, you. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> now I'm going to think about that the whole way through now. No, it is, it, the thing is, Flora can see ghosts or, or dead people because she, she we, we keep referring back to the bit when they're playing hide and seek and she, so she can see something. Um, and every time she's talking to Danny, she's looking over her shoulder at something yeah. else or someone else kind of thing. To be yeah. fair, so can Miles, because otherwise, at the I'll just take over the end of the episode. The Lady of the Lake's in the house, and they're kind of distracting Danny so she doesn't go anywhere near the Lady of the Lake. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then they kind of they get past that stage, um, and at the end, it's a drunk Danny just looking at Edmund at the bonfire, saying yeah. it's just me and you. Um, so yeah, she's never going to get rid of him, but. Um, at least we got a bit more into what's actually we didn't really get that much into what's happening with the lady the lake just she has a part no it is moving a bit slower it, it's more we've got to know it's exactly the same as haunting of the house because it's episodically it's based around each character and whatever yeah. so th this will be an interesting one but we now know who that ghost is yeah it's danny's ghost basically so as in edmund is danny's Okay, yeah. Oh, you mean the silhouette yeah, yeah. with the glasses? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we do need a Hannah episode. So let's see what happens in this one. Episode 5, The Altar of the Dead. Let's check it out. The housekeeper knew, more than most, that deep experience was never peaceful. And because she knew this ever since she'd first called Bly home, okay. she would always find her way back to peace. This might be a Hannah-centric episode, finally. I was gonna, yeah, I was going to say. Memories fade, or they're wrong. Any of us could die at any moment. Or we could forget our entire lives, which is like dying. Make the most of it, I guess. You spend a lot of time caring for other people. If we could just take that responsibility and put it down for a minute, it's a bit of a relief. 
I mean, only it's if not you, really. Only if you treat it like a burden, then it's... Yeah, yeah. That's true. <sighs> Maybe I'll go back to Paris. I could, couldn't you? I could. You have no strings attached here. You could do. Oh. Go with him. You and me. Oh, we still can. Go on. Are you Hannah? Oh. Uh, Owen Sharma. It's a oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, when they first met. Yeah. That was a crazy transition. Oh, I, I'm a little uh, discombobulated today. Charlotte, um, Mrs. Wingrave, she had to, um, she had to... Is she okay? I worked in a restaurant in the Marais. Why do you want to work at Bly? Because it's close to home. Oh, well, that's honest. Well, I, I'm, I'm too honest. It's, it's probably pathological. <laughs> Once we get past consciousness and identity and, and all of the things that occupy the front of our brains, you reach a transcendence. What? See what you re really are. See who you really are. Without having to worry about identity. <laughs> she liked that. Probably got him hired in the first place. Okay, she's just... She's jumping between her thoughts here. Is she jumping? Is it transitioning or is she jumping? Because it looks like she just walked in like, oh, Thinking how, why am I here? somewhere else. Yeah, why am I yeah. here kind of thing. Hello, Miles. Hello, dear. Mrs. Gross, lovely to be back. Oh, lovely to have you back, sir. Hello, Hannah. Lovely to see your face. And yours too, sir. <laughs> it's a lovely family, isn't it? And Peter. Um, you'll bring those in directly, will you? A.K.A. Sulky Sulkerson. <laughs> Immediately. Well, frosty she start. She like him anyway from that, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's like she's jumping between memories. Yeah. What the hell is going on? I don't know. Is Sam coming to get you? No. Is he all right? I don't know how he could be, Mark. Somehow, him and however she is there, it's just fine. Oh, her partner cheated on her, probably. Yeah. You can stay here, you know, for as long as you like. Forever, if you need to. Oh. Which is why she never leaves. I mean, it's an open invitation. She doesn't need to. I'd stay as well. Yeah. Oh. Man, it's happened again. What are you doing, Mars? Whoa, 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 buddy. I will beat the living shite out of you. No bullshit. Oh, easy, Jamie. I'll fucking end you. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Damn. Damn. He's so unfazed. Look at you, all flushed. You're pretty when you blush. Oh, uh, what? what kid? So random when he comes out with stuff like that. It's like, what are you, where, where are you getting all this stuff from? What is happening with you, Hannah? What the f how was that? Or we could forget our entire lives, which is like. Why does she keep jumping? I was thinking more like her neck snapping there. I have no idea what is going on here. You talk to me like rubbish, and I haven't heard from you in days. Your voice, though. Don't tell me what to do. The last time I saw you, you were banging on about me having Owen's batter in my mouth. You tell him, Rebecca. Oh, so they, okay, this is after what we saw. Yeah. I don't even know who that was. I'm just in deeper than I thought, I guess. Oh, Bex. Can I kiss you? <laughs> well, that was easy. That was, wasn't it? It's like... Oh, crap. Random as... Oh, no. She's forever watchful, this Hannah is, isn't she? Awkward. She's gonna... Peter's gonna come and say something. 
I mean, that wasn't watchful, that was eavesdropping. Well, yeah, that's also true. Honestly, Harlan. Shit. Don't want to hear any lessons from this shitbag. Crack. Is that crack? Oh, God. I feel sorry for her a little bit, because she doesn't know what's happening, sort of. At every... She's just lost in her thoughts. Yeah. She keeps... She keeps... Oh, you thief. Henry asked me to pick up a few things. Did he now? Charlotte Bunch told me that necklace is over 400 years old. Whoa. It's wow. probably worth thousands. Yeah. It's a mistake, isn't it? Thinking that they're your family. That this is your house. It doesn't make you stealing any better. Yeah, that's not justifying what you're doing. Their lives go on, Hannah. Leaving honest people like us in his week. Did he just say honest people? <laughs> but is this like, is this meant to symbolize like cracks in the house? That is fractured? Mm, what is that crack? And where is that? Where is that crack? Yeah. Uh, Rebecca? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this that fight that night she... That night, yeah. That doesn't look like her at all. Looking at this as an opportunity to hone my skills. In Paris, I was a sous chef. <laughs> and she's back to the interview. This is... It's going to sound strange, but... Haven't we already done this? Mm-hmm. Deja vu? Yes. But we have to do it again. Let's get back to it. In Paris, I was a sous chef, which means they only let you cut vegetables. <laughs> I don't know what this is. It's not a memory. Miles is seven and rather picky. Miles? He's a good boy and he would never do anything to... Hurt you? Is that what you were going to say? Whatever would make you say that? I don't know. He was. Boy, this is such an uncomfortable is... conversation. He hasn't exactly been himself since his parents died. No, that's not what I meant. Miles, Dominic, wing, wing. What do you think you're God. doing? What the f Oh, God. <laughs> Shut it. <laughs> Why is he smoking? I don't know. This kid is just... Cannot, under any circumstances, be smoking. Mm-hmm. Oh, Hannah. Honestly. Okay. <laughs> that sounds like Peter. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's for Sam. He may not be dead, but nobody's perfect, are they? <laughs> so that explains why she's got four? Nah, she did it though. Sam is... he's just going for a phase. Oh. And he'll be back. Ah, nah. Yeah, you can't... come on. Marriage is like religion in a way. You are told to have blind faith in God, even though you can't see him. And you're told to have blind faith in your husband, even if you hardly ever see him. I mean, the, the difference is the marriage isn't supposed to be like that. You're not supposed to not see your spouse for a very long time kind of thing. Well, yeah. I've never met anyone like him. I know he's not perfect. More than that, though, isn't it? God, it's such a enabling sentence. I know he's not know. perfect. You don't know him, Hannah. You don't. We know enough. I mean, she probably knows more about him than you do. She's, he's been, she's been there longer. Exactly. He scares me, too. But in the best way. See, that's a bad sentence. Bad sentence. He's already got his claws into you. <laughs> if you're de if you're denying it. Mm. Rebecca, I'm sorry I mentioned it. Rebecca, don't follow her. You're gonna go to a different room. She's gonna go somewhere else, isn't she? <sighs> okay, she can't get out of here. Miles? Peter? Oh, Miles, yeah. Miles slash Peter. Let me get your opinion, Rebecca. There we go, and we're back into something else. We had a mouse problem a few years back. The old gardener bought in these glue traps and tile about them. Yay, big. Yeah, it's messed up. A few days later, I came across one of these traps and there's something in it. It was a leg. Mm. Poor oh. Miles was a few feet away. It chewed its own leg off to escape the trap. 
I've I've seen they do that. I've seen that. It's so messed up. That man is a glue trap. When Rebecca realizes such a good way to put it, she'll think she's okay. So that's such a great metaphor. Yeah. Denial. Which we know that she is in denial. Yeah. I'm looking at this as an opportunity to home. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I'll be stuck in this glue trap of a town just like everyone else. There we go. Uh, You're familiar yeah. with glue traps. We talked about that once. Not yet, we haven't. No, because this is the interview. Yeah. This is, this is morbid. Be careful. It's morbid. Of what? Um, so, she'd go into another, so that's like the staging area, and uh, then all the other door, all the others are like. Was she there? We're always going to be the help in their eyes, aren't we? So that's why Peter. And we both know that deep down. Stole two hundred grand. Stole. I needed to pack her bags and be ready to go. What are you talking about? I can't just... Please, 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 just do that for me. I'm kind of wondering where he got the money from as well, myself. Well, it's whatever he's about to pull off, isn't it? Yeah. Like, is he selling, like, mass amounts of the Wingrave stuff? Could be jewellery or, like, anything you can get his hands on. 200 grand's worth? Hannah seems to be a ghost in this one. Yeah, she's looking into the situation. Yeah. Right? This is one of my favourites. I don't a find memory. myself in this one too often. It's not a mem... It's... What are you doing here? How, how did you slip into my... Oh, I'm so sorry. Miss, I'm, so, I'm so sorry. No, I wouldn't go out there. She is her mem... This is when it happened. I'm so sorry, Miss... I'm... Hannah! I'm so sorry. So this is her mem... Oh! oh. God, I shut it for no reason whatsoever there. You heard something. Something downstairs. In Flora's dollhouse, well, something strange. That was, um, that was Becca's memory. Yeah, that's she what I mean. was that's very what I mean. aware it's, of it as well. She's inside Becca's, yeah. You think that's 200 grand's worth? It could be. 400 euro necklace. Yeah. It's an heirloom, isn't it? I thought I said go back to bed. Oh, oh my god! Fuck was that? Oh, I absolutely shut it there. So that the, that's the Lady of the Lake, isn't it? But that's not Rebecca. We didn't say Rebecca was Lady of the Lake. Where'd Rebecca you get? Rebecca drowned in the lake? Huh? Did Rebecca drown in the lake? Yeah, but that doesn't, doesn't make her the Lady of the Lake, does it? That's, a, no, that's what I thought. Mm. What? I said go back to bed. Why is this? I don't. I don't know. What did she do to you? Who? Rebecca. No. Don't you remember? Is he dead? Dead. He's dead. That was an immediate ghost that came no, no, no. out. Yeah. Oh, okay. You can randomly pick up stuff and at times. The others, they say, stay away from her. The others? No. Well, it must be the other she's people that back. she can see. Whoa, whoa, she's coming back. What does that mean? Well, he's dead, dead. She took him away, she killed him, and now she's taking him. Stop. He was dead whilst she was walking, as in she's strangled him. No, I know, him. I know. But she has a in path the... to complete. That's what... Oh, right, yes, okay, yeah, yeah. Let me go! Let me go! You bitch! Let me go! Okay, he's so possessed. it is... possessed. It's possessed. Yeah. We were right. He was, but he is possessed by, yeah. by Peter. That's why 
when Peter looks, that, that's why you probably see the reflection. Not bad, not bad. If he's yeah, looking yeah, into yeah. a reflection, then he'll see himself. Back in the lake you go, I guess. This is our like, this is when I, why, this is why I was like, don't get in her path, whatever you yeah. do. Because it doesn't look like she went out of her way to kill Peter. He was just standing there. In the, in in the her, way, yeah. yeah. Oh god, she's got no face. Bye. This is completely taken away from what's happened to Hannah. Oh god. Oh my god. I'm looking at this as an opportunity to hone my skills. This is the worst episode in terms of getting scared. It's good though, it's, it's in like... Apparently it's... we're doing this again. Oh, now you've noticed. I'm having the strangest of dreams. Are you? Yes, I am. It's not a dream, Hannah. A woman. A woman in bed with him. Oh, my. <laughs> She's forgotten it's... Rebecca? You are Hannah Gross. The year yeah. is 1987. You're at Bly. It's like these are little reminders. Peter's dead. Something is wrong with Miles. Do you think that Peter like possesses him at times, like touches him at times, and that's when we get that creepy version? Yeah. And at other yeah, times yeah. he's just normal. Yeah. So this is Peter right now. You're such a bore, and you don't know when to leave well enough alone. So yeah. through him, yeah, yeah, you're right. When he touches him. To be dragged off this fucking property, away from this god awful trap. So he is trapped here, because he's in the lake. No, he isn't. He's trapped in the property, like at Bly. Honestly, Hannah. Oh. Oh damn. Oh shit. Oh, that's why she broke her neck. Oh. Oh, oh, that's what she remember. She's her neck, and that's the crack that she sees everywhere. Mrs. Mrs. Gross, I'm having the strangest dream. This is crazy. She's here. She's here, and she's even prettier than I imagined. This is the first episode. She's been dead this entire time. This is when we see Danny enter Bly. Oh uh, my days. Hannah's been well, dead this entire time. But then she's been having and conversations with Danny. Gross. They can she can speak. What do you mean? Why are you confused about that? No, she's not dead. She's talking to Hannah. We can't count on the past. Memories fade. We could fade at any time. Is that what's happening with Hannah? The memories are fading and it's changing into something else as time goes by. Hannah grows. In Paris. What would I do in Paris? <laughs> Doesn't matter, Owen. She can't leave this place. I will go to Paris with you. Alcohol you later. No, wait. Hmm. Uh, no, no. Um... Mm, it's not what you said at the time, Hannah. <sighs> Damn, this is mess. This is actually really heartbreaking. Oh, I had a curse to you. It's 1987. You're at Bly. Miles is 10. Flora is 8. You were... Chris. Chris. That's messed up. And that's the end of the episode. Thoughts? I am yeah, I can 100%. See, I, can, I can see that. In Talk your face. to me about this. Talk to me about this. So, okay, wait, wait. So I get the Mars bit. I understand that. But Hannah is dead. Dead. Yes. You agree with that bit? She's dead. She has been dead since we saw her. Okay, but then how is it that Danny can have a conversation with her? Who's to say you couldn't have conversations with ghosts in the first place? Where did you get that bit from? Just because right. Peter's able to possess Miles doesn't mean you can't see Peter when he wants you to see him either. That wasn't a reflection in the window that you were talking about earlier. That was, that was Peter. The ghost of Peter. Okay, so... And if that was the case... No, 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 let me finish so I can make you understand better. 
When Peter died in the first place, why is it everyone yeah. could see him? As in the kids. Nana could see him as well. That's true. I think what makes it confusing is because the way they've shot the actual episode is that she can transition between bits. And it does make sense now that if she's dead, technically she would be standing in the room where Rebecca and Peter were having that conversation. No, she... I think she entered Rebecca's memory there. I think as a ghost, what it's trying to tell us is you can enter different memories of yourself. Fine. And over Fine. time, those memories seem to fade. So you have to remind yourself of what happened. What's happening in Hannah's case is it's changing. As, so it, as, it, as she keeps on repeating it, it's... Like, oh, that's not what happened. She's at points, she's sometimes forgetting Rebecca. Oh, no, it is Rebecca. And then uh, another yeah, part yeah, of her yeah. memory, another part of her memory that she's made as Owen has to remind her, no, this is what's happening. This is the time we have to do these, do this conversation again. I think Fine. Rebecca being dead also is able to access. This might be me just bullshitting now. Is able to access her own memories like ghosts can do. But she somehow made it into Rebecca's memory, which is why Rebecca was at that point like, I like this memory because this is where I like him at his best, like excited and happy. But I don't like what happens afterwards. <clears throat> okay, hang on, wait. Let's, okay, so questions then. Go on. Go, question, quick question. Okay. Lady of the Lake. Yeah. Yeah. Let's start with her because mm -hmm. that, 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 okay, right. She is obviously someone who is. We don't know that yet. We, the house. Yeah, that we that's a random ghost. It's not Rebecca yeah, because what, yeah, if it was know... Rebecca, she'd be dressed in black, and she's not yeah. dressed in black because the last time we saw Rebecca as a ghost was when was Flora was yeah when Flora yeah. left with exactly. Danny and she was like deadpan face right. in black. So the Lady of the Lake is different, and she was around before she well essentially she killed quit Pete she killed Peter yeah because we have no idea how long she's been there who she is yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have no idea yeah. no 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 that's, that's she's that's, the that's only the main... one that doesn't seem to we have a know. face yeah I, no I'm gonna add Peter on to didn't... that that's the second one that doesn't have a face the first one that didn't have a face is when um they were playing hide and seek and Flora yes. was hiding and yeah, that and she could see that she was making a screeching sound and what whoever the hell that ghost was and um that's the second faceless ghost we've seen yeah yeah okay fine so okay fine yeah that's why i wanted to know because the thing is okay we know that rebecca's not the lady of the lake because she was around before rebecca died Correct. rebecca just offed herself in the lake she just yeah. killed herself out of grief and uh, yeah. out of grief okay fine i mean there's other places you could have done it okay fine so technically if you die on the property your ghost stays i think you're stuck i think you're stuck there yeah that's what i'm that's what i yeah, think yeah, yeah, yeah. otherwise yeah, yeah, yeah. peter wouldn't have said i wish the cops would have taken me away otherwise i wouldn't be stuck in this trap his it. trap meaning yes. okay, he's stuck in this fine. property however big it is the gardens the lake the house the yeah, whatever yeah. it is fine so it's let's just say it's, it's the easier it's this it's, if you get killed on the estate you stay there estate which is why is the parents potentially didn't die there because they're not there Correct. They didn't die there. They're not there. Right. No, not, yeah. not technically. It's definite. They are not there. Yeah, they they did not die. die there. Fine. Okay. So the, this is what really is baking my noodle. Go and on. This is, that's another Let me let's that. unbake your noodle. Go on. Is if you die on the property, mm -hmm. your spirit, technically, people can still talk to you. Because that's, that's what Hannah, I'm assuming. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because Hannah has been having conversations with Danny. Yes. I get. I I totally one hundred and ten percent understand that you can see ghosts. And ever since on the property. ever since she's died, she's been going back and forth in different areas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, that assuming, I I'm assuming that's that. I'm just guessing ghosts can do that. They can because go back and forth between 
times. Because otherwise because she wouldn't be so lost every distant. time we see her. A distant every time we see her. She's been dead and she goes back and forth. Fine. Okay. So yeah, because that's the bit that that's the bit that confuses me. Because technically, if she if she wasn't a ghost. Sorry. If she yeah, okay, sorry, if we just take that into account that okay, you can see dead people on the estate, which you can, fine. Then it explains I'm gonna I'm gonna add a caveat. Wall. I'm gonna add a caveat. You can see dead people if they want you to see them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I get the no that bit I get. If that is the case, then that that I get that. Because if not, none of that would have made sense. Because how is she how is she able to then talk to Danny Owen? Uh, the gardener like the that 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 because she's had conversations with people so it's kind of like um, how is it change there? it a little maybe you can see them until they realize that they're dead maybe i don't know that's 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 what i need to i need to kind of sit and think about i think that <laughs> i think that might be probably a better way to put it you can see them up until they realize that they're dead because maybe hannah didn't know until she saw that last memory of her of her dying it could be which is why there was a crack everywhere yeah otherwise it's just, it's yeah yeah something like that because this episode while it was confusing it was brilliant it was amazing it was an amazingly answered, done episode yeah yeah it answered a lot of questions we will write about peter about peter being sorry peter possessing miles hmm so through him he taught we knew we kind of figured that out like, yeah because i had the same manner as we got that bit yeah 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 um okay which does explain why but then it, uh, it use your explain, words <laughs> use your words no, no, no it doesn't explain why he was the way i mean it kind of explains why he was the way at 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 boarding school like you said it's he wanted to go home so he was doing all these things yeah that's why he did yeah, that so that yeah okay fine fine yeah okay so hannah's dead okay yeah. uh that's an interesting one well past uh, the we confusing get... part it's kind of messed up it's actually sad that she'd been dead this entire time um and technically it was peter slash miles that killed her mm. that's the messed up bit and it literally happened just before danny arrived yeah which is why she was so out of it when you first see hannah in the first episode like oh um yeah a bit yeah you know uh yeah yeah yeah, yeah let's go to the house children and thing yeah, yeah. um so that's yeah, yeah that bit's quite really interesting sad. the other the other thing that's um i'm gonna owen's acting in this is sorry brilliant. just gonna extra bit and that's why like i said um the memories fade i think that's at the end where she has to keep on repeating repeating to herself I am Hannah Gross. It's blood. Oh, yeah. I am yeah, Hannah yeah. Gross. I am Hannah Gross. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which is sad that memories fade in that way. Um. Sorry, Owen. Owen. Yeah. He's brilliant in this. Yeah. Uh. There's so many. There's, there's that. There's the way he was acting. The conversations he was having. How he's constantly reminding her. Then you've got the Lady of the Lake. You come in the way. That was a brilliant shot because we weren't expecting. I mean, I, I was, I was kind of expecting something because it was pitch black behind. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Um, so you expect something to come out, Peter. Yeah, but it was just someone casually walking and grabbing him by the neck. I was like, what the? But, but what's mad about it is that he didn't run away. He didn't even get the money. He just he died. He just died in front of the kids. Yeah, still an evil. Prick. I want to know. Still an evil prick. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But um. But it. Yeah, it's just. So we need to know what happened now between him dying, and Rebecca dying. We need to know what that what what happened in that in that point. Like what mm. drove her to be. To to unalive herself essentially. Well, I suppose we kind of already know that to a certain degree because she fell for him in a way. I don't as think. She I don't think to that point. I don't think at that level to that point. Not that bad, because only a while ago she'd had a conversation about 
It's true. Don't talk to it's me true. like that kind of thing. She was she was speaking to Hannah about how he's exciting and I've never yeah. I don't think she would, she was at that point of I can't live without him. I can't breathe without him kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe it's the waiting that drove her mad. Could be, but because that's something he, we're probably going to have to find out. There's two the things end. I want to know is when did the kids start seeing bloody ghosts? Number one. And when, at what point did that turn? Maybe was it with their parents or whatever? Secondly, it's, it's well, the, the Rebecca. Kids and Hannah saw Peter. When he was alive. Yeah. When he and was then, dead. When he, the lady then, of the but, lake killed him. Yeah, yeah, but they saw that happening. Yeah. So when did they start noticing that the, the I lady don't know, was walking I around don't the house? think they knew about the Lady of the Lake, and I don't think they saw ghosts. Mainly because a few seconds before that, Miles was complaining that something strange is happening to the dollhouse. And that something strange is happening. So I don't I think that might have I been the first guessed. instance. But again, yes. we probably need more information. This is the first real episode where you're like, we know enough to piece things together, but we don't know. Kind anything. of. Like, There's still had... a few bits more, few bits left. Yeah. But, it's coming um, together. This was an amazing but heartbreaking episode, and like she didn't need to like. That was sad. She's. Yeah. 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 That, that, yeah. She's, yeah. She's a, she's a good what, the person. The fourth candle is her. The, huh? That hers is the fourth candle then. Lighting one for herself, yeah. Yeah, potentially, right? Oh, I see one more sad. The Rebecca, the Wingraves, and herself. Yeah. Yeah, we um, thought it was Peter, but actually it's not. It's actually... Yeah. I don't think she her. would even light one for Peter, but... No, no, no. Uh, I don't think she knew Peter was dead. I don't think she had remembered yeah. after she died that Peter was dead. I'm gonna confuse yes. I'm gonna confuse you more. No, <laughs> she no, was, no, no, she was dead at that yeah, point. Yeah. She was dead at that yeah, point, yeah. but she had forgotten that Peter had died. She wasn't dead at that point. We're gonna do this again. No no no. But if we're saying she died just before Danny got there, she was alive. But it's then I'm just trying to figure out who's... Is that Peter's memory that she's tapped into? What are you talking about? Which bit are you talking about? Something's wrong with you. She has been dead for... No, no, no. But I got, no, she, she she died yeah. just before Danny got there. Correct. So when we so see her Peter, after that... Peter. When we see her after that, lighting candles, four candles... No, 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 that, no, forget that, forget all that, forget all that. What I'm saying is she was standing there when Peter died. So whose memory is that? Is that Pete? Is that Peter's memory? Because we were saying she can tap into memories. That would be her memory. But she wasn't, but was she there when the incident happened? Or was it a ghost projection? Well, that's partly Rebecca's as well, actually, because Rebecca was saying that, this is my favourite bit, remember? Don't go outside. So then technically, Re okay. I hate you. I hate you. I hate this bastard. No, but that's this the is beauty a, of this. This that's is a good. No, it's this. not. You're just adding an extra crap. Um, this was a good episode. <laughs> <laughs> um, let us know your thoughts in the comments, or help us, or help him. Maybe help me. Maybe I got a lot wrong. Um, let us know your thoughts in the comments. What did you think of the episode and our reaction to it? But other than that, please like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one. See ya.